First caution comes out here at Atlanta. It's for Harrison Burton, who spins coming off of turn two. And the AMR safety crew to him. He was trying to roll forward, but all the tires are down and he's stuck. He can't roll. Yes, yeah, so you see center of the lane, just a big wiggle. He was on the outside of the 19. You see the big wiggle. Great save. Great wreck avoidance by the 11 of Hamlin, the 38 of Todd Gilliland. And then the 21 just has no choice but to lock it down. Fortunately, pretty light contact to the inside wall. But watch right there. You see that wiggle? That could have been a very big accident into the outside wall. A great job by Harrison and fortunate that the driver's behind him. I mean, look at this. Denny Hamlin has him lined up. So does it the 38. No. Such a great job by those drivers. It just breaks loose there coming out of turn turn two. Around he goes. We're riding along with Denny here. Yeah, you're going to want to hold your breath. Watch here, this. With you trying to put your middle. Watch you, watch you stay in it here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stay in it. Come on. Come on, come on. You know, we talk a lot about drivers and drafting, and to be good, you have to, you know, just make moves. Can't think about them. Well, that's racing. Think about wreck avoidance. I mean, we hear the spotter directing, but everything we see Denny and those drivers doing, that has to be an instant reaction. I don't think that's something that I really question. Uh, Jeff and Junior, you're like, are you even listening to your spotter, or is it just background noise at that point? Yeah, I think it's mostly background noise. You're, you're paying attention to what's going on in front of you. You hear them when you're really looking to your, listen to your spotter when you have a lot of smoke and you cannot see what's going on. But that is a great example of you know just racecraft from those guys missing that wreck. Yeah, and those intense moments when you're sitting two wide or three wide, especially at Daytona and Talladega, I would always have my spotter, TJ Majors, repeat everything, right? I might not catch it the first time, but the second time it's going to sink in. I'm going to remember exactly what you're trying to tell me. So he would always repeat the more important things. Um, but it's interesting to see how the racing's going. Everybody right into the top line, single filed out, and then right as we went to break, the cars got two and three wide and the racing really picked up and you saw dirty air and a slick racetrack gets the 21 off of two. Yeah, and it got, to, it got two and three wide because cars started handling poorly and drivers were able to go to the bottom and make moves or go to the top and make moves. And that's what everybody's concerned about. Like, they don't know how much grip this racetrack is. You just saw one car go around. There was a lot of bad handling cars out there Drivers and teams are going to make adjustments and probably put tires on as often as they can. That's right. Pretty exciting down here, guys. <laughs> well, come on back up to the booth. Uh, we'll continue to call this race from up here. Harrison Burton, he didn't take the window net down. Steve, he wants to continue winning this race. Yeah, looking for just assistance. Really no damage. It's just flat tires. So NASCAR will assist him back to pit road. He'll try to rejoin the race. And once again, a fight for the lead. Alex Bowman trying to throw his name into the hat as well. Bowman trying to get that inside line going. He's got a little help from Busher behind him. See if his 48 can slide up in front of the 22. He does. Bubba says, I'm going to the inside then. Take this run here and see what I can do with it. And he knows he's got a teammate up there in that 19 to help him get a little bit of a draft. Now he's going to try to slide up. Spotter gives it to him. Go ahead and take it away. Here the Toyotas working together again, the 19 and 23. And Busher made up a lot of ground on that bottom. Now he's got Haley behind him at 31. Let's take a look at the Toyota driver update. Martin Trucks Jr. out in front. He ended his winless streak earlier this year and has already been to victory lane twice. Currently running in the top spot here at Atlanta with Busher now challenging him to the inside. Haley back into the picture in that 31. Oh, we got a spin in the back. I believe it's a five. Larson's around in front of the field. Still sliding, but not you're a good, lot of contact. Looks like the 14 of Briscoe avoiding. He got turned around as well. A 62, Austin Hill. Both those cars were kind of stuck together, headed down pit road, Rick. Larson's going to come on to pit road. Larson had somebody right in his back bumper through turns three and four, and I think Larson was losing grip and coming out of the gas and got turned around off the nose of another car. Sparks coming out of the left side for Austin Hill. Uh, so successful in the Xfinity series on these types of tracks. Take another look at what happened. There's the five and the 43, Eric Jones. So the five is loose now. He just gets loose, and it's before Eric ever touched him, he got sideways. It's slick out there. You know, there, there's moments where you have a lot of grip and you build, 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 build confidence. 
And then you find yourself in a situation like that, even some of the best drivers in the world can't escape from. This track is something else. He was running 14th. Great job. Almost everyone avoiding him. Sideways, as you mentioned, in front of the pack. Yeah, I'm not so sure that the 43 wasn't into the back of the five. Yeah. It looked like to me there was some contact there before Larson got loose. Yeah, we'll have to see a closer look at it. I thought Larson got a little bit sideways before the contact was made. Here it is right here. I, just feel like, I don't know. It's so hard to Watch tell from that. But we keep hearing the drivers talk about being loose. And yep. wouldn't surprise me that he was a little bit loose before the contact. Yeah, I thought the low first low look low at low it give us a really good shot of where the bumpers were and, and whether there was contact, but now we've got damage to the five car right front blue and has come apart and destroyed the hood. So here we go. So let's look at the, the 43 and the five back here on the right side of the screen. And the five's out of the gas right there. Yep. Now he's loose. I don't think they're contact yet till right there. Yeah. It just, you know, you can see the gap from the two car. It got bigger. Mm -hmm. And so that's clear to the five out of the gas, two driving away from him. Yep. He was out of the gas because he was loose. Eric tried to give him a chance to save it, but Eric's going to get run over. Lake. Eric's going to get run over too if he's, you know, out of the gas too much. So you can't look in the mirror and be watching there, you know, watching out front in the, in the mirror at the same time. And this damage to the five is pretty severe. A little confused about this damage, Steve. They were all yeah. pit road. So we, we saw them pull directly into his pit box, and I think they put a new right rear tire on it because it was already flat. But I think the right front still had air in it, but it was probably flat spotted very severely. And then rolling around, it finally exploded, and you see just a huge amount of damage, which is, you know, the car was relatively clean until then. So you're going to take a look at it right here. I mean, this is going to show you the force of one that one. Oh, my Ooh, goodness. Wow. <laughs> a little piece of debris up on the racetrack there, too, that they'll have to clear off. Look at that. I got some, somewhat of a fender on there. I don't know what the air is going to do to that full speed, but <laughs> it don't look too bad. No, no. And you can run anywhere. Drivers were worried when they came here. Could they get on the fence? We got drivers running on the bottom, the middle, all the way against the wall. What you tell us during the commercial, Dale, this would be hard pressed not to be the ticket you would buy. Yeah, I always said Bristol Knight was the best ticket in the series. I've changed my mind. Anybody that asks me when they're going to the first race, I'm sending them here. See Joey Logano on the inside of Allendinger getting some help from the 12 car. Blaney, Cindric, they're all teammates, the 22, the 12, and the 2. Are they going to hang the 16 out now? So will Allmendinger have anybody to work with? Ooh, Penske train though right there. Mm -hmm. Got all three of them organized now. Bowman looking to the inside. Bowman gonna... says, man, I want to be a part of this. He keeps clawing uh -oh. his way back into this top five. We've it's... seen him get... Oh, oh, he got a big crash. But Joy goes around. In front of the pack, how many will get collected? The 19's Brand able to avoid. Bad. Chastain, looking like he may have had a piece of it. Yeah, he's got some right front damage. This, this has been where the chaos Correct. has been. For the last 15 laps, I'm surprised we haven't seen this wreck before. Big damage on the 54. Ty Gibbs will be limping yeah, back to pit uh, road if he can. Looks like the left front's locked up, though. Left front completely gone as far as the tread. Chastain already on pit road. He also is missing a tire. The right front for him. Right front really hard. That's the main thing. Only thing to hit. Three wide, the 43. Eric Jones into the left rear of the seven. He chases it up the track into the door. Reddick. 21, or the one car, I'm sorry, jumps the left side of the 54. That's a pretty hard contact. Eric Jones made it, had a big run, and he just. Well, it looks like the seven actually came down. It looks like right. I thought the 43 was going up into the seven, but it looks like the seven actually came down on the 43. Oh, look at that. Big contact with the one of Ross Chastain. Yeah, watch this one come through here. Jump the left front right there. Truex on the binder, slowing it down. Locking the left front up there. Riding on board here, the 54 of Ty Gibbs. 
Yeah, the seven did. I mean, the four three held his line. It wasn't all the way against the apron, but the seven does come down slightly. Kind of a racing deal. You know, the 43 is not perfectly low, but just kind of came together there. It has been wild, like you guys said, right there around that one car. That one, that 43, 54, 19, bouncing off each other for the last 10 laps. You know, I tell you, the, the, you know, we, we show these replays and, you know, this was this guy's fault, that guy's fault. One thing we know for sure tonight is that it's hard to keep the car in one line. It's hard to keep the car going perfectly straight. They drive so bad, Marty, that it's, it's just hard to point the finger and say it was one guy's fault. And Jeff, I wish I could convey the intensity you feel on pit road. It's very palpable. Corey LaJoy said, for what it's worth on the radio, I know you guys said he may have come down on the 43. He said the 43 got in my left rear. So in his opinion, that was all on the 43. Car is not tracking straight for Corey LaJoy. The left front, he said, is way towed out. Yeah, the left front's towed in, actually, from the contact. The, the, the one jump off of that yeah. bell? Yeah. Yeah, they, you see it's pointed to the center of the card, Dale, as you mentioned. Six to go in the stage. What else do they have left? It's picking up now. Here comes the 17. A little bit of momentum. A.J. Allmendinger helping out in the 16 on the bottom line. Can the 17 slide in behind the six? No, he couldn't. The situation is tough for the 17 because he wants to side draft Brad, but he knows that's not going to help Brad. That's going to hurt his team. Oh, contact. 11's going to go around. He got tagged by the 48. They both get collected, slide into the infield, and the caution comes out. Right there, began to draft straight. They were three wide. The 48 slid up the racetrack, caught the back of the 11, and around he went. Running in seventh and eighth position. Absolutely, Rick looked like the 78 up or the 48 up the racetrack. Good save by the 11. This is gonna tear up that 48 car as he tries to get around here on a flat right front tire. With the debris that's being put out, this could end stage two. Take another look. 48 gets loose right here, looks like. Yep, loose up the track he goes. How does he get contact here? Yeah, just 11 down the track and he just has to lock it up. I've been watching Alex Bowman. His, his, he's had his hands full. I've seen him multiple times have to be all the way out of the gas off of turn two, people stacking up behind him. You can see right here, he knows he's in trouble. You saw the flames come out of the exhaust pipe. That was him out of the gas. Just couldn't keep it off of Hamlin. Bubba Wallace, Justin Haley, both clearing him. There's Michael McDowell going through the grass. Mike McDowell's actually recovering pretty well from that damage earlier. This is what we talked about, guys, when this race started. This, we had no idea, and the teams had no idea how much handling was going to matter. And had they made the right adjustments, remember, there was no practice here. Only qualifying. So the teams never ran in these cars. The You're middle. You're middle. Middle, middle, middle. Clear high. Hang on to it there. Hang on to it. 48, you got it. Lock it down. Lock it down. I love how the spotter in mid wreck says 48 got us. <laughs> go ahead and let them know what happened. Now, what does NASCAR do here? What do you think, Steve? Four to go before the end of the stage. You got rain. Uh, you, you, what do you do? Well, it, the interesting thing is, you know, they have to make a decision. They won't open pit road if they don't believe they can restart before the end of the stage. Um, you know, they've said in the past that they will just ride around to the end of the stage, finish the stage. So the question is, how quickly can they get it cleaned up? I and mean, it looks like they might be able to. It's three to go now. I don't believe they can open pit road on three to go and catch up the field, two to go and restart. So I think we're going to see three pace laps here, three caution flag laps to end the stage. A wild ride for Denny Hamlin. Got tagged by the 48 of Alex Bowman out front. Keslowski scored the race leader here at Atlanta. Riding along with Bush, another run on the high side. Marty. What a marvelous job from Michael McDowell. Jeff, here is the problem. They just told him a moment ago, you're about four to five laps from running out of fuel altogether. So how would you manage that, Jeff? If he runs out of fuel in the middle of the pack, it's going to be disaster for everybody. Yeah, it would be. The only thing you can do is stay in the gas. 
that's all you can do when it starts to run out, just try to get out of the way. Maybe you don't need an outside lane. But as a driver, there's just not much you can do. And he's running on fumes now. That's the driver of the 34. Oh, we got a spin. They're spinning back in fifth and sixth. Ryan Priest is around. Wallace also caught up in this. All right, all right. Caution has We're come out. Now the cars that are short on fuel are in full save mode, hoping that they're going to get some drops on the racetrack. Steve, it's an impossible situation for those guys that, that are low on fuel. The rain is, it's right here. And we've been hearing reports about drops in turn four. Let's see what happened in this wreck. Right side of the screen, the 41 lifting for the 12, gets tagged by the 47 of Stenhouse down the racetrack into the right front of Bubba Wallace. Look at Chris Busher doing a nice job of getting slowed down. Denny Hamlin threads his way through. I'm with you, Jeff. I think if you're, you know, if you got a pit, you're going to have to probably push it as long as you can on this yellow flag. Do you stay out to the very end of the one to go signal and right. then come down pit road? I think the only car that has to pit is Michael McDowell. He was last on pit road a lap 95. So he is basically on fumes. Take a look on, on board with the 11. Oh boy. Watch him right here. Easy, 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 easy. Get down, 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 up, 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 up. You up, can see, I, he just, he just, just couldn't get slowed down. Kevin Harvick. Oh. Wow, that was. Not sure what started that. Yeah. 11 came Here's down on him. Oh, yeah. Contact with the 11. <laughs> Hold her down here. Get straight. We'll be fine. I'm sure they're pretty Let frustrated. No caution. Five laps down. <laughs> 